Hello besties, welcome back to another sweetest vlog and welcome to the first episode of the Love Shack Diaries. Let me explain what the Love Shack Diaries is because I just came up with this on my own after visiting Love Shack Fancy and I was listening to a lot of podcasts, reading a lot, journaling, and I want to make this series more of a longer form content where we have girl chats, we chat, we chat about anything. I feel like every week we should have like something new to talk about. And obviously like we're not talking one-on-one -on -one right now, it's just me talking to the camera and you. But in the comments, it would be really interesting to kind of like have more of a, of a deeper connection, more of a personal connection. And then what I also wanna do is kind of intertwine the girly Love Shack fancy inspired DIYs, crafting, baking, just doing something fun. I have two things planned for crafting today so I want to do that and I also just want to like talk and I want to like put out my my thoughts more and talk about things that I actually do enjoy talking about and discussing and having debates so if that interests you I hope you hang around I hope you like this long-form content whether you're just playing this in the background playing this on a desktop laptop TV whatever it is I hope that it feels like we are connecting more on a deeper level than just talking about girly stuff and shopping even though like don't get me wrong I love that stuff but I actually do have a little more depth to me than that and I just always want to get that across because I am not here to just say like oh buy this buy that you have to look like this to look like that and be that and that's not the case that's not the case at all and I just have things I want to talk about so let's just get into it so today's topic I want to discuss the rebirth of social media I've been listening to a lot of podcasts and people interviewing other people about like where do you think social media is going what do you think is gonna happen and and I personally don't think social media is going anywhere. Some people, I think, were feeling kind of drained by it. Like, I want to give my TikTok example. I I just can't do TikTok anymore. Like, I've been trying to make TikTok. Like, that's how you grow on social media, and that's how like I want like I want to grow my YouTube channel, obviously. But TikTok just does not feel good to me. It's like that one quick hit that we're all looking for. And yeah, like some people be like, oh, it's I'm here just to decompress to find some funny stuff. Like, no, it's actually like kind of a numbing tool. I'm not gonna say to everybody because everybody lives their own truth and everybody does their own thing on TikTok, but for me, I, my attention span, I'm just like scrolling and I'm like looking for that one funny thing, looking for that one inspiration and I'm like, what am I doing? Like yesterday, instead of scrolling on TikTok or Instagram, I sat and read a book for 30 minutes in the middle of the day and I felt so much better. And I'm not here to say that I am like the most perfect human in the world that does everything right and I know everything. Mm -mm, no, that is not true. I'm learning every single day, but I'm just kind of putting out my feelings here. And I really want to know what you think. And what's really interesting is that my audience, you who are watching, y'all are between the ages of 25 and 35. And I feel like that generation, which is also me, is not on to the TikTok. TikTok. Maybe we are, maybe we aren't. Let me know. Are you into TikTok? Are you like an avid TikTok watcher? I'm not shaming anybody that does. I'm just actually interested. There is someone just like proudly saying their opinion and they're not open to discussion or there's trolls in the comments. There's just so many people out there projecting their beliefs onto you subconsciously and you don't even know it. So no wonder people like don't know what they're doing in life or have depression or having anxiety because there's just so many things in the world that you're consuming through TikTok. And it's like, girlfriend, like we need to take a break. We need to take a breather. Like what is the purpose of getting on TikTok? What is the purpose for listening to all these people in the world? And you don't even know what is credible or what is just a personal opinion. And it's just, it's just not my thing lately. And I want it to be because that's how you grow on social media. But I don't want to do things that feel bad to me because that does not make me in alignment. That does not help my vibration. That doesn't help me attract things that I want in life. So then I also think about why is Joe Rogan's podcast pretty much the most popular podcast in the world. Because it's human connection. Because it's literally him sitting around with his friends or someone he's actually interested in talking to and they're just conversing. They're just going back and forth with their thoughts. They're going back and forth like with opposing opinions. They dive deeper into things. And I think that's what is missing in this internet society. In my opinion, 
totally open to other opinions, but this is just what's been on my heart lately. And that's why I look back at my videos and I love my videos so much, but that's why I kind of want to open up more and talk more and get to know what other people are thinking and also tell people about my opinions and everything. But yeah, like it's hilarious how Joe Rogan will literally put out a four hour podcast of him just chatting with his friends. Either they're sober or drinking or doing drugs and I feel like people listen to it and it's human connection and that's what humans need in their life. In order to have some happiness in your life, it is scientifically proven that we need at least one great human connection. Whether that is someone on the internet to you or a partner or a friend, every human needs some type of interaction, some type of fulfillment within another human. So that is my rant for now. Later on, I kind of want to get into law of attraction. Maybe I'll save that for another video. What do we think? What are the next chatty things we should talk about? Let me know your opinion down below. Are you a tick TikTok fan or you like wow TikTok drains me or just not even TikTok like if you look at reels on Instagram which I don't but let me know also let me know if you are the generation that had vine we all at least I knew vine I think I was like a freshman or sophomore in college and vine was like all the rage and then all of a sudden it died so what's TikTok gonna do however what's different about TikTok is that there are influencers now there are bloggers there are youtubers now and so people can get sponsorships that way and it's so funny looking back how vine was like actually just for pure entertainment there were at least I don't remember any ads or sponsorships or anything. I only got on Vine because it was hilarious and it actually inspired me to make some hilarious Vines. But let me know. Let me know your opinion. What do y'all think? The next thing on today's video agenda is I really want to create some Love Shack Fancy inspired DIYs. My girlfriends Cry and Janine DIY'd these Love Shack Fancy totes and now I have to because it's just that cute and so fun. So we're going to do that. And I went to Love Shack Fancy Nashville as you already know and they were selling tank tops that literally said Hanes. Let me pop up the picture here. It was a Hanes tank top that was hand dyed and bedazzled. And they were selling it for $200. And I'm like, yeah, sure. I like, yeah, I spent some ridiculous money on Love Shack Fancy, but I know for a fact that it costs you $5 to make that tank top. So we're going to recreate it. We're going to get into hand dyeing. We're going to go to Walmart, get some Hanes tank top, and we're going to DIY our own Love Shack tank tops. <laughs> Okay, so I have this adorable Love Shack Fancy tote that Chloe from the New York Madison location gave me. And it is so pretty. I love, this is like my favorite print, like this tote. So let's do what the first, like one of the sides first so it can dry and then we'll bop on over to Walmart to get our other DIY stuff. So a lot of this stuff, Hobby Lobby, Joann's, Michael's, I'm just, I love any craft store. It's just so much fun just to see all the things you can create. I got this iron on, but I use Use fabric glue because I love fabric glue and irons are just like not as convenient and I really do want to start sewing I like don't know how to sew at all but I really do want to invest in like a sewing machine and take classes because my sister actually is so talented and she makes things that look like Love Shack Fancy and I'm like OMG I need to get on the train so I'm gonna put this on and I'm just gonna kind of go wild and glue some things and I will give you a little tote decoration tour afterwards Oh. oh my gosh. pretty much every single day for lunch. Two scrambled eggs, some grapes, cottage cheese, and my favorite chips. And don't forget to drink your water. 
I got that off of Amazon. It's a gallon and it's life changing. All right, let's make our way to Walmart. I need, I wanna get a clothes, clothing line, clothes line to lay out the tank tops. And then I also wanna get a big tub for dyeing said tank tops and then get some tank tops. So let's go to Walmart. I washed the Jeep after the gym this morning and so she is nice and fresh. Love that for her and for me. And also, if you are looking for uh, some bops to get you in a good mood or a playlist, I've created a Love Shack Girl Vibes playlist on Spotify. Go check it out. friends so I am back I have the shirt so I have two options I have this little girls Hanes tank top that I just got off of Amazon this is a size large and it actually looks like it would fit better than the boys large but we're gonna do both I have a couple of each but we're gonna start off right now because apparently I'm supposed to wait six hours for the dye and it's been a, probably about like four or five hours so we're gonna try it now if the color is not as saturated as I want then we'll wait till the morning but let's see how this goes and um, yeah I'm gonna do the love shack fancy way they have it posted on their website so let's follow their instructions how I try written down the words to say it is time I've been waiting five days to explain how you make me feel inside baby got it all figured out wanna do this right there's a I actually got the hang of it after a few tries, so we'll see how these turn out. They're just gonna be drying overnight, but I think I got the hang of it, but I'm also gonna make sure that the tub stays out, so maybe the color will be even more saturated tomorrow. So we will see. Hello, it is the next day, and I wanna show you this one side that we're working with with the tote. So cute, I swear that fabric glue is magic. Like. These are not budging at all. Highly recommend getting fabric glue if you were not into sewing. But I'm gonna do the other side right now and I'm actually waiting on the shirts to dry. I did a couple this morning because the dye actually was way more vibrant and they turned out really, really well. So they're drying right now. So fingers crossed that by the end of like tonight, today, they will be ready to bedazzle. So let's start DIYing this side. Talk to me, it's what I want the most in my life They say you're out of my league, but I don't give a damn No, deep down, I know you want it You wanna take a look Look how good this turned out Oh my gosh So I got like the hang of it after a while You pretty much have to dunk the whole thing in for a while And just kind of swirl it around in the tub It just really depends on what kind of look you're going for But I love this, oh my gosh I can't wait to get more. She's a little weird on the back, but like, that's the beauty of it. So I'm gonna bedazzle her right now. Make it into a Love Shack tank top. Jumping up, uh oh. You wanna fall in love? You get me spinning, wouldn't it be awesome? If you just kiss me slowly and have me in your arms. If I can make you see it, baby, with me something. Something to Look how perfect this top turned out. Oh my gosh, the sizing is perfect. I bought a large in the girl size. I bought it off Amazon, so I will link it down below if you are wanting to try it out. I'm normally in like a size small, medium, and just like a regular size. So the large fit perfectly. This literally looks like Love Shack Fancy. And then I paired it just with a mini ruffle skirt. And oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Like I wanna make these shirts all the time. How cute. This is from Amazon, and then all of these are from Joann's, and this is from Joann's, and oh my gosh, I'm, I'm speechless. This is so cute. I love it. 
I can just make my own Love Shack Nancy. And then here is the tote. The tote turned out so cute. And y'all, as soon as I like started making this, Love Shack Fancy posted on one of their stores, Instagrams, these two bags that look so similar to this. I'll post them here. But look how cute. All of this is either from Michaels or Joann's or Hobby Lobby. I'm, I'm ecstatic. This is so cute. I'm about to like take an Instagram picture with this. I was just unpacking my suitcase from Nashville and I realized that I left my Love Shack fancy outfit there. I like put it under the sink where I never do because there weren't any hooks. So I put it under like neat the vanity and I'm so sad because it was the bow tank top and the American Girl doll skirt and I'm really sad. And I called them and they're looking for it. So fingers crossed because that's like my favorite outfit. But anyway, on a more positive note, I went for a walk this morning and I listened to a really great podcast from Rachel Hollis. It's called How to Fall in Love with Yourself. And I've been going through some of my own limiting beliefs. I have been going, I, I've been working on them for so many years now and I've conquered a lot of them, but there are still some like some guilt that I feel and some productivity and bringing in money and a lot of things that the outside world tells you that you should do in order to be successful, to be an independent woman. So maybe we can dive deeper into that and self-love and getting over what the outside world tells you and how to create a life and not just working to make a living. And I'm also reading a really great book by Jenna Kutcher. It's called How Are You Really? That's also a really good book that I'm reading. I just finished my Law of Attraction book, The Law of Emotions by Abraham Hicks and that was so good too. So I really want to dive deeper into things that just overall make us a better human, make us feel better, make us happier, live a more joyful life. But I hope you enjoyed this video. I really liked chatting with you. I really liked just wanting to connect on a deeper level. So let me know what you think of this series. Let me know what you would like me to talk about. And also if there are any other like requests you want me to, to do, any other type of videos, I'm always open to requests. So with that being said, I love you. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to be sweet, love yourself, and you will have it all. And I will see you in a few days.